it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and this is just a quick video to do a review and comparison of the Stephanie Dawn zip tote that I just got. I'll put the haul video here. Um, but I'll compare this to the Vera Bradley Mandy, which as you can see is very similarly sized, and also the Vera Bradley Small Vera. So it's a little bit different, but still in the same size category here. So let's just start real quick with the Vera to Vera. So you have on, on this side, this is Lavender Meadow in the small Vera. It had trim on the sides and it had the piping on the edges, which I, I like a lot. This also has a secret pocket up here. <laughs> Not so secret, whatever. It's the phone pocket that I use for my phone. It has a slip and a zipper on the front. And then inside you have three slips on either side here and opposite. Here you have that interior ladybugs pattern and this is like a nylon interior. So there's that. This does have a semi-rigid bottom but it came folded on that so um, it does it does hold its fun. Once you put stuff in there it'll stay structured and stand up no problem. Um, so in fact it's standing up on its own. <laughs> anyway, um, So this one versus the Mandy you can see they're the same width, but the height is different. Let me see if I can line this up. Yeah, so not a whole lot. I mean, it's just an inch, inch and a half difference in height. And base is also basically the same. So very, very comparable in size, with just a slight height advantage here. But looking at the Mandy, this is a retired style, but you can still get it at the outlets, um, just retired on the retail side. But this is an older one. This is Sun Valley. And this one, you can see some of the great detailed characteristics that drew me into Vera in the first place. You have the coordinating trim patterns, just tastefully placed. It has a slip pocket right in the middle. And look, I did, I didn't realize it at the time, but look at the perfect pattern placement. I have that centered medallion right in the middle with the pattern. You know, it just came out really, really nice. Um, it also has just nice detailing on that top piece and trim on the bottom edge of that. And I know it's the same material so you can't really see it very well, but you know, it tapers down. It's just a really nice bag. I really, really like the size of it. There are no pockets on the back of it, um, but it's a great size. So here's the handles and it has a zipper closure. It's a flapped zipper closure, so it does give you a little bit of excess capacity towards the top of the bag rather than coming to a point. Inside you have three slips on either side three there and three more there. And then you can get a look at that interior pattern, which is really nice. I think it, it's a nice contrast to the exterior, sort of have light on dark and then a mix. It's kind of cool. So anyways, that is the Mandy. And let's compare that now, oops, to the Stephanie Dawn Zip Tote. These two are very, very comparable in size. So we put them side by side, both of them with their bottom flipped up, let's see. And they are essentially the same size. And the bases, if you wanna see that side by side, it looks like the Mandy has ever so slightly greater width in that direction, just slightly. Very, very close though, very close. <coughs> Excuse me. So the zip tote, um, obviously a different configuration. It has three pockets outside, on the same side of the bag, it has three pockets on the inside. Opposite that, you have two larger pockets and two larger pockets on the outside. So there you go. Quick comparison of the smaller of the totes in um, Vera and Stephanie Dawn. Take care. Bye for now.